YouTube. Welcome back to channel manager boy Red Mamba. Drop a noti gang in the comments if you guys got a notification for this video. If you guys didn't, make sure you subscribe and turn on the noti so you guys never miss another video. So in today's video, as you guys can tell by the clips already, there's only been like three clips so far. I'm going to teach you guys how to hit just bomb after bomb after home run. This is going to be the best hitting settings that I've found. I'm going to give you guys some tips after I show you guys my settings to help you hit better. And uh, as you guys can see right here, not every hit is a home run, but hey, can't get mad at a good double. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my settings first. Uh, let you guys screenshot that or whatever. Go ahead and copy that. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some tips after that if you guys need them to help you guys, you know, just give, it's always good to have some extra pointers on hitting better. Before you guys do that, yeah, yeah, shoot, what am I talking about? Drop a like, give me a big kiss in the comments, I don't know, whatever. Let's get into this hitting settings, I don't know what I'm talking about. Mwah. Alright, so as always, whenever you guys do your settings, make sure you guys go ahead and do it in the main menu, so it saves in every game mode. So in all my videos, people ask me if I use power hitting, contact hitting, and all that. I have a whole video on that, if you guys are curious on that. I talk really in depth on what I use, so I recommend watching that. I'll try to leave a card in the top right of the screen. Um, go ahead and watch that if you're curious on what type of hitting I use. I go, like I said, I go really in depth in that. All right, so strike zone hitting view. The reason I picked this is so you guys can decipher it, whether it's a strike or a ball a lot easier. The, the view is right on the screen. A big part with getting good hits is working the count and being very patient, not swinging at everything. Um, because eventually the pitcher's gonna mess up and throw you a meatball right down the middle. It's only gonna take a matter of time. And uh, especially, uh, we'll get more on tips later, but here are my settings. Hitting interface is on zone. If you guys are new to the game or you guys are having trouble hitting, I would recommend using directional until you get your timing down. Because I know there's a lot of people on Xbox. Drop an Xbox in the comments if you're from Xbox. I know a lot of, there, there's a lot of new people from Xbox, PS4, all that stuff, PS5. Um, so yeah, if you're new, I recommend using directional on your hitting interface until you get good at timing pitches. Um, once you get good at your at the timing, you're getting good timing every time, then upgrade to zone. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be way too difficult to learn how to use zone and your timing all in one. So I'll, like I said, use directional if you're new. PCI center on none, PCI inner on none. This is a big deal. A lot of people use like circles or. Uh, a lot of people use circles or diamonds in the middle of their PCI, and it just messes with me personally because I can't really see the ball. Like the, the PCI, the little uh, circles or the diamonds, whichever one you guys pick, it just covers up the ball, so I can't see the ball as well. So for me personally, I like to have nothing in the middle just so I can see all the ball, and that's all I see. PCI outer is on Starfighter. That's how my PCI is so big. If you guys ever see my PCI uh, compared to some other PCIs, that's why my PCI is so big. The PCI outer is on Starfighter. Um, PCI transparency doesn't really matter. This is because all this is going to do is make it brighter. Um, so I put it on 100%, but maybe if you guys want it to be, you know, more transparent, put, turn it down. That's kind of subjective on you. And this is a big thing too. Make sure PCI fade out is on none. If you have PCI fade out on outer, then that means your PCI is going to fade out right as he pitches it. So don't want that. Make sure you have your PCI on none. If you guys ever want to see me hit with these live, come to my Twitch. I stream two to three times every single day. Red members. I'll leave a link in the description. Come through, ask some questions. And maybe by the time you guys come to my Twitch, I may have a new hitting settings. Who knows? Um, people... People in my Twitch chat are always helping me become a better pitcher, a better batter, all that type of stuff. So I'm always learning new things about the game pretty much every day when I'm streaming on Twitch. So uh, yeah, I'll definitely recommend coming over there. We have a super late community, always helping each other. And um, yeah, they'll definitely help you if you're looking for some extra tips from not just me, but just from other people as well. All right, so now that you guys got my hitting settings, I'm gonna give you guys my tips. <laughs> hey, pause on that, pause on that. Um, yeah, let's get any tips, man. These, all these tips are going to help you out, so don't skip this part of the video. This is going to help you out a lot. Um, my biggest tip I can give you, <laughs> uh, PCI. PCI placement is huge, bro. If you guys do this, this is going to make you a 10 times out of 10 better hitter. I don't even know what that even means, but hey, 9 out of 10 doctors prescribe Crest Pro Health. I don't know. So where you guys want to put your PCI is right where the pitcher releases the ball. So if it's a lefty, a righty, whatever, fucking uh, a, a sidearm pitcher, whatever. If you guys notice one thing in all of my clips right here, you guys can tell my PCI is always starting in the top of the screen where the pitcher releases the ball. Right here, another good example. I move it up right where it releases it, and then I follow 
the ball with my PCI. So I feel like a big problem with a lot of hitters is they'll leave their PCI in the middle of the strike zone or the bottom, and then they'll like guess where the pitch is gonna be. So what I do is I'll follow the pitch. You know what I mean? I, I still have trouble doing that sometimes where I'll like predict where a curveball is gonna be or something or a slider. So what you guys wanna do is follow the pitch. So if it's a curveball, literally get your PCI and follow the ball until you swing at it. I don't know if that makes sense. But if you guys do that, that's gonna help you with your pop-ups, with your ground outs, all that type of stuff. You're gonna be hitting way, way, way better quality contact hits. Also, when you have your PCI high, it's gonna make you way more likely to be able to hit a high fastball. And high fastballs, right here is a good example, high fastballs are the easiest to get good hits on. But you have to be early on them. If you're late on a high fastball, if you're not ready for a high fastball, another good example right here. If you're not ready for it, it's not gonna go very far or it's gonna be a pop-up. So what I do is I wait for a high fastball. That's every single pitch in my mind is a high fastball. Every single one I'm waiting for a high fastball, waiting for a high fastball over and over. And for example, right here, if it's a curveball, then I'll readjust and be able to hit the off speed. So if you flip that logic around, say you're waiting for a curveball or an off speed, it's gonna be almost impossible to catch up to a high fastball just because it's so much quicker to the plate, it's so much more difficult to hit. So that's probably the biggest thing is track the ball, put your PCI where the pitcher releases it, wait for a high fastball and adjust to a slider, curveball, any type of off speed, adjust to that. And uh, just make sure you guys follow your PCI, even if it's a curveball, don't, don't predict where the ball is gonna be. Follow the ball and you'll be completely solid. So uh, another tip, uh, patience is key. Patience is a huge, huge, huge thing in MLB. Um, if you guys notice in most of my clips, you know, it's not a first pitch swinging. I'm not, like, most of my pitches, I have a few balls, a couple a couple balls thrown to me. There's a lot of reasons why you want to be patient. One of them is eventually the, the pitcher is going to get tired of trying so hard to pitch to you, number one. Number two, he's going to eventually mess up. No one's perfect unless they're cheating. <laughs> I know some people will be cheating in this game now, but as long as no one's cheating, no, using no, no hacks to get perfect pitches, they're going to mess up eventually and there's going to be a ball in the middle of the plate eventually. No matter who it is, they're going to eventually throw one and that's when you swing and hit the home run. Also, especially in Battle Royale, that's the big thing I play is Battle Royale. Um, the, the, the more you make the pitcher work, the more he's going to get tired and more likely to get hit on. And you know around here we love hitting on some dudes. So a thing I do is I won't swing at all until I get one strike. That's something I do. It depends on the score and how I'm playing. Sometimes I just get lazy and bored and I swing at everything. But when I'm really trying to win, I will never swing until I get one strike. As you guys can see in pretty much every clip, I have one strike at least when I swing. At the very least, I have one strike. Usually I have a couple balls. Um, but no matter what, that's my strategy when I'm trying is make him throw a strike to me. When you make a pitcher throw a strike and, and work to, to pitch to you, it's going to make him lazy. And if, like I said earlier, eventually he's going to throw a bad pitch. And it's going to get him to rhythm. Like, if he pitches to six, seven batters and he realizes that you don't swing on the first pitch, he's going to give you meatballs on your first pitch. And then that can set you up to hit a home run on the first pitch. If, uh, you know, bases are loaded or if you have a good home run hitter up, maybe at that time, then you swing at the first pitch. You know what I mean? That, to me, is the biggest flaw with most hitters is they swing too much. Like, when you have one to two strikes, it's okay to chase a ball a little bit. But when you have no strikes, there's no reason to chase a ball. And sometimes the ball looks perfect and you swing at it and then you look at the pitch and it was like way out of the zone or it was like a 50-50 call. It could have been a ball. It could have been a strike. It just wasn't a good quality pitch that you could hit a home run with so yeah with those three basic tips and my hitting settings you should be able to hit easy bombs pci placement make sure you're ready for that high fastball be patient make the pitcher pitch to you do not swing unless he gives you one strike if you do that combined with good pitching i have a pitching tips video on my channel as well if you guys want to go watch that if you have good pitching good hitting you're gonna win probably 90 percent of your games um it's really all about being patient on the plate and uh yeah you'll hit home runs you'll get good hits and you'll be winning your games like i said earlier if you guys have any questions i'm live on twitch all the time two or three times every single day playing mlb so if you guys have any other questions come over come ask me some questions i'm not hollywood i read all my comments i'm not one of those streamers that just sits there and doesn't read comments um 
So yeah, come through. I'm always getting new advice from viewers. So maybe by the time you come through, like I said earlier, I may be using different hitting settings. So uh, yeah, come through, give me some tips or we can give you some tips, pause. And uh, yeah, make sure to drop a like on this video. Hopefully I'll see you guys on the Twitch stream. Um, comment six to zero since that's the score of the game that we're watching right now. Comment six zero so I know you guys made it to the very end. Hey, everyone have a good day. Like I said, hopefully I'll see you guys on Twitch. If not, we'll see you guys in the next YouTube video. Everyone have a good day. Peace.